I tried a hot chocolate diet. Cayenne pepper diet is basically kind of like a juicing diet. There's the paleo diet, there's the Atkins diet. The Tupperware diet, where you just eat like six meals a day and it's all pre-cooked and planned out. The only water diet. The jello diet, which isn't really a diet, that was just me making up my own diet. The lollipop diet. The cabbage soup diet. The liquid diet, that was, I actually did that one in December. That one was crazy. Being a vegan diet, general fasting diet. I've tried the Atkins diet. Nothing has worked. It's it's always up and down. People do compare themselves to other people, particularly in high school. Kids are kind of pressuring each other, they're comparing each other to other kids. A lot of people post pictures of, of their meals on social media. To be popular, um, you have to look skinny and perfect. You see you know, what they're wearing, what they're doing, you see what they're eating. People showcasing their bodies and, you know, a lot of poolside pictures and stuff like that. People will try to look skinnier or they'll take pictures at certain angles. There's a lot of pressure to lose weight or want to lose weight. They're convinced that if they don't, then that other person will never like them or that other person will never go out with them. And so you look in the mirror and you can pinpoint every little thing until, you know, that goes into just not wanting to eat certain things at all. Young people these days especially are extremely concerned with their appearance. They're being bombarded literally every which way via television, social media, Instagram or Pinterest. They're seeing images of these flawless, sort of unattainable role models, if you will. We see them photoshopped or changed in some way to be skinnier. A girl wants to look like that too because they think that that's what's beautiful. Good looking guy or good looking girl and like they're at the beach with all their friends, they have perfect teeth and they're just happy. And it's just like, I need to look like this to be happy. The message that's being driven home constantly is just, you need to be thinner, you need to be more flawless, you need to be prettier, you know, basically you need to be different from how you are. I'd see like other like, like athletes or celebrities and I, I'd think like, you know, I really should step it up. Like, you know, if they can do it, why can't I do it? There's been a greater emphasis on body type for both young men and young women where young men are seeing images of six packs and things like that and I think that the message that they're hearing is more muscle equates to better performance. From the age I'd say nine up until 17 I was I was a fat kid in school I was 240 pounds kids you know they they make jokes. I never really had too great of a self-image I was kind of the chubbiest one in my family all my relatives are athletes or they're just built like athletes and I'm just the kid in the band. 